What's happening, everybody? This is the Big Jew, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV: The After Years. So I got outside. I uh, just left the cave to the Feymark thing, and yeah, no events really happened. It's just a bunch of whatever. Go ahead and uh, check the pot there to restore your hit points, magic points, and here we are. It is like I know what happened. Everyone's doing well, well as in stone and being, having their powers taken away by, uh, what do you call it, by a uh, mysterious girl. Yeah, we did. No, not really. We, we, we beat a whole bunch of enemies that we really could have beaten. Anyways. Really? Cool? Yeah, that's what's up. Oh, sweet. Right on. Cool. Way to go, Luca, I guess. Huh. Oh, uh, sure. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Take up your position. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Luca, I thought you said you fixed the engine problem. Why are we still, like, crawling? Anyways, now we're in the present day. And now it's a good time to switch to another, uh, tale. Since I can't edit because Windows Movie Maker sucks on my laptop, I'll just reset the game and start another chapter. Yeah, I know. Really don't, but I don't care. Alright, so let's start Palm's Tale. I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> no. no. No one's on a boat here, okay? That was so three years ago. <sighs> Who's he? Oh, let me guess. Paul. Yeah. So this is the present day now. Hope you guys like how I'm doing this, how I'm trying to connect everything. I mean, this is how I think uh, everything, like, goes about in like a linear timeline, so yeah. But if not, well then, whatever. Watch another LP if that's the case. If you don't like seeing it like this. <laughs> These guys are so intimidated. Ha! Wow. Huh. That's a beard. Cool. Palm still a douche. Still an ass. That's alright. I mean, whatever. It's cool. And the scene would have shifted over to the prayer dais anyways. So yeah. It would have shifted over to this. In Porum's Tale. Which we'll be doing later on. I guess this is before the voyage. Huh. Really? Ah, ah right. <laughs> I like how Palm is really introspective and uh, cynical. I actually think he grows up the most in uh, Final Fantasy IV. A lot of people think it's Edge, but uh, I really do think Palum is, so... I really think he grows up the most. Huh. What, he's just asking a question? Jeez. Really? Huh. Alright. Yeah, because Porum, uh, Porum has, a, has a spine, Porum, that's why. Cool. He gets to go to Troya and friggin' get down with all the chicks over there. Nice. That's probably the point, Palm. <laughs> you can still use items. It's about the same thing. It is, really. Huh. 
was Captain Leo. What is it? Captain Leo. Wow, what is General Leo going to be coming out now and uh, talking to Terra? <laughs> that scene in Final Fantasy VI is amazing. I'll play that. I'll play that game in the near future. Still have uh, another game I want to play after this. I'm going to do Dragon Quest VIII after Final Fantasy IV or the After Years. So yeah. And then maybe after Dragon Quest VIII, I'll play Final Fantasy VI. Who knows? Okay. Uh. Jeez, scared of that. Man. Man. <laughs> Palm's like, no. <laughs> yes, it is. Really? Huh. Huh. Strange. Okay. And yeah, he's a little. Th oh, he starts at level 13 in this in this uh, chapter. Okay. Well, just like usual, let me go ahead and, uh, change my settings up. Sweet. And talk to the captain. What's up, captain? It's been, what, like a month? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Ouch. Huh. So do your job, damn it. <laughs> oh, Paul. What the hell? Oh, okay. I thought it would be like via thinner guns or something like that. Makes me wonder when, uh. When everyone was attacked by Leviathan and I'm, uh. In the original game, like, I wonder if they were, like, right underneath the fame arc, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know, like, it's just my, it's just, uh, just my thoughts on things, really. Alright, will do. Peace. Oh God. All right. So now we're on our own. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just Palm. But I mean, thankfully the enemies here pretty laughable. So, like goblins. Come on, really, goblins? Really? It's pretty sad, to be quite honest. Here's a chocolate forest. Good deal. I suppose I could talk to the white chocolo and cover the 5 MP that I lost by attacking the goblins. Alright, here we are. We have lots of money, and not really. But I do want to look around still. Nothing. Huh. Yes, I am. And why not? Swim around with hot chicks? Absolutely. But I want to get items first. Yeah, good stuff we got here. Looks like dry ethers, money, more ethers, a decoy which casts blink on uh, the user of it, which is nice. And so on and so forth. Yeah. Really? Cool. There's Chocobo House, right? Let's see. Yay, Chocobos! Huh. Yes, they can. Oh, 
Oh, is there like a secret, secret passage? Huh. I didn't know about this. Oh, never mind. Okay. I'm trying to check this pot here. You want to check like every like. Just like Dragon Quest, uh, Final Fantasy IV, the After Years has a lot of hidden items. So you want to check everywhere you can for them. Because you can find some good stuff. And it will mitigate the uh, amount of uh, stuff you need to buy. Really? After you encounter with Theodore? Never encountered Theodore. Yeah, what this guy will do is he will uh, let you into a challenge dungeon later on uh, after you've beaten uh, said chapter. Um, remember that later because you can get good, you can, you can get really, really good stuff with uh, in the challenge dungeon. So yeah, I suppose I should buy this stuff later. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on it for now. Check that pot. No, nothing there. What about weapons do I have? Let's see. Oh, the same stuff as usual. I think of daggers. Huh. Don't know why I would ever want a dagger. Since we're using magic users. Anyways, let's head into Troya. What's up? Cool. Yeah, remember the spot here for later. You'll be able to find some decent stuff uh, around the moat around here. Uh, but not now, though. It doesn't really matter right now, I guess. Cool. Alright then, let's go see the Epops. Or Epots, or whatever the hell they're called. Huh. Alright. Oh. Right. Huh. Yeah, very sharp mind Pollen has in this game. It's awesome. Oh, so this is the uh, new Epot. Or the Epot in training. Leonora, or Lenora, or whatever the hell you want to call her. Huh! Okay. Cool. And she couldn't make the, and she couldn't become an epot in like eight years. Jeez, how slow is she? Huh? That's true. Very true. <laughs> it's not being rude. He's being sharp. Okay. Huh. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Okay, cool. Either one, right? Oh, it's like I said, you can you can just use items if you want to use white magic. <laughs> okay, sweet. Yeah, that thing we passed uh, after the ship dropped us off, that was the Tower of Trials, so, yeah. Sweet. It will be done, Lord Pollen. Ha! Lord Pollen. Yeah, right. Some Lord he is, right? Just like Lord Puck in Final Fantasy IX, he's like six years old. So here's Lenora. She is terrible. No black magic. Very, very, very limited white magic for now. I mean, she has raised Esseno, which is pretty nice. And teleport, I don't know how you learn teleport level 3. Or raise or Esseno, but that's what we have. Uh, and, like, really, like, eh, decent equipment, I guess. Anyways. So. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, wait, no, let's not get out of here. Let's get some treasure first. If we can. Let's see. Money, Phoenix down. Gold Needle made him kiss. How oh, they don't have two of the same like in the uh, original game, I see. Huh. Oh, except that one, I guess. Mm, cool. And got that potion. Oh, wait. 
behind. And let's see if we have the uh, big treasure trove. Really? Huh. Let's see if it was refilled along with everything else. That hasn't been refilled. The other chests get refilled except the treasure chamber? That makes a lot of sense. Huh. Alright, so pretty much what I gotta do in this chapter is train Lenora and grind her uh, pretty much to where she can handle herself on her own. Uh, and it's like they say, she's this, she's kind of the, uh, the, like the, she's almost like, she's like a red mage more than a sage in this game. Uh, she can use rods and stabs and bows and, uh, oh, she can't use daggers. Okay, that's fine, whatever. But yeah, so. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and grind Lenora in this chapter, and we will return to Porn's chapter next time on Final Fantasy IV The After Years. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.